Hey, there we go, it's recording. Well, this video is not going to be public, ever. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask if a buddy will make sure that uh, you people in charge used to be called the Bilderberg Group. Then you wanted to change your name to the Illuminati, whatever you want to fucking call yourselves. I don't give a shit. You can call your ship fuck wit bitch fit. I don't fucking care. There we go. Right. We've got a nice little cozy idea for you little fucks. A way to placate all your social, economic, and civil unrest. make your dollar worth more and make people happier whatever you want to call it placate it I don't give a fuck all at the same time make yourselves look better while you're doing it been working on this idea fine-tuning it my idea is uh, you claim that you're gonna rehabilitate felony prisoners and uh, people who've committed felonies you claim at the same time that you're gonna reduce the deficit make the dollar worth more uh, in addition to all this provide a universal basic income to help people in poverty this is all gonna tie together just listen what you do is, you present it however the fuck you want. I don't give a shit. You guys love, uh, you know, circle jerking yourselves, so circle jerk your fucking selves on this one. You claim you're gonna reform these, these people who've committed felonies and shit. What you do is you take them and you tell them, okay, because you've got felony, you can no longer vote. Hey, we're going to give you this option. Here's the option. Because you can't vote, and because it's unconstitutional for you to not have representation without taxation, we're going to give you an immunity to state and federal taxes. You're still going to have to pay the taxes on groceries and gas and what, all that shit. Yeah, that's, uh, that's separate from the, the state and the federal taxes. So, yeah, you... you take care of that but we're gonna handle the state and the federal shit with this little idea uh, you sign up for this little program we're gonna set you up with uh, an account at uh, this brokerage firm and we're gonna give you yay so many shares of this blue chip stock and we're gonna let you have 50% of it, of the dividends, to do whatever the fuck you want with. The other 50%, we're going to put that straight into the Federal Reserve, into uh, paying off the deficit. Here's the other part. You set them up with, I don't know... Enough of those blue chip stocks to give them uh, a couple of hundred dollars a month. Because uh, some of them pay out quarterly. It's, on average, it's like 50 cents per share. So, you know, you, you get um, enough to put two or three hundred dollars. You let them have half of it. The other half, you put it straight into paying off the deficit. And you get, uh, I don't know, uh, how many hundreds of thousands of felony prisoners do you have? And, you know, you can also claim that, oh, yeah, this is also going to reduce the overcrowding of prison population. This is going to rehabilitate people into upstanding citizens. And it's going to help them stay out of trouble. Because all these, all these crimes are, are motivated by a lack of money and... The deficit is crushing everyone in, in debt, 
but because of bullshit we borrowed in the past so we're, we're all gonna mix this together and instead of it spiraling up and up and up and out and becoming a larger deficit that everyone has to pay off in the future we're gonna start that deficit circling the drain so you get um I don't know let's say you put two hundred dollars worth of uh, dividends per person and you get a few hundred thousand out of the millions you've got in the prison system and you know you have a, a probation officer or, or someone check in with them a counselor go there and help them uh, manage their money so that they can uh, stay out of trouble whatever the fuck you want to call it however you want to work it get some fucking volunteers from some fucking churches I don't fucking care you solve your little fucking uh, details however the fuck you want I don't give a shit and you market this brilliant fucking pro t uh, pro tam <sighs> program to the fucking idiots you know the mindless fucking zombie sheeple who are sucking your fucking tits and dicks and clits whatever the fuck you want to call it I don't give a shit you market it to them as a rehabilitation and uh, uh, reintegration into society program or whatever I don't fucking care <clears throat> that's uh, that's the basis what you tell the people is, hey, we get enough people doing this. You just think, two hundred dollars per person, and we've got, yay, so many hundred thousand, maybe a million people doing this, and half of that money is theirs to get back on their feet, to get their life on track. And local volunteers from the churches are, are going to counsel them, and, or state volunteers are going to counsel them and how to main, maintain their their living arrangements and shit, how to get a job and put more money into it. Yeah, you're going to have some who are going to be lazy who are going to just sit there with what you give them. But you're going to have some that are going to get it in their head. Oh, fuck yeah. No taxes. The dividends they're gonna be coming in permanently because this is blue chip stock you know you give them a little breakdown of how blue chip stocks work how they're recession resistant you know like uh, the fucking amenities the, the trash pickup like I own one share fucking uh, waste management that's a blue chip stock this recession resistant you tell them okay yeah you can't vote on the company's thing you set that up with the company and and this rehab program take care of that detail and some of these people when you give this information and be like fuck yeah this is a great idea it help reduce the deficit increase the value of the dollars so that it can purchase more eventually it'll balance out I'll be able to buy a fuck ton of food that'll last me a long time. And I'll be able to fucking uh, dip shit around with the rest of my money and buy movies or, or go out with my girl and shit and, and just have a fucking fun time being alive. Yeah, you put that idea into their head. You know, somehow, some way, you know, do it however the fuck you want. That's, that's just to start with and you tell the public hey we get enough people doing this and in five years we might see an actual halt to the rising deficit last we checked it was 20 trillion and rising so we get enough people doing this It'll stop it dead still. Rising cost of life will stop. Corporations will stop being greedy. Game shows will come back to television. 
and tell him, hey, yeah, in 50 years, maybe in a generation and a half, the deficit won't be rising anymore. Your grandchildren will be looking at a shrinking deficit. It'll be going down. That deficit will be going away. It'll be going smaller. Your dollar will be worth more at the supermarket. You'll be able to buy that new house for half the cost that it cost yesterday. Give them that, that idea. That yesterday it costed so much, but your, gra your grandkids will be able to buy it for half the cost of yesterday. That way it's a inverted reverse psychology that's skewed to their sense of temporal flow that fucks with their idealism and makes them think, oh yeah, I'll do this and it'll be like, it'll be better tomorrow. It, it's a horrible euphemism. Well, at this point, yeah, you've lied enough, so fuck it. Who cares? Keep lying. Well, who the fuck cares? At least you're lying about something that's supposed to be positive, right? So you keep going with this. Every, uh, every six months or every year, you give an update. You, uh, you let the, the people know you're on, on your rehab program. Hey, every six months to a year... We're going to do an update and a consensus to see where you guys are at, what you're, do what you're doing with this account, uh, if you've grown it, if you've let it stay where it is, and here's the thing, you, those that have stayed where they are, fucking ignore them. Let them do them. If they just want to sit there and just enjoy what little pocket change they get, fine, fuck it, who cares. You incentivize them to put more into it so that later on it's better and bigger it's bigger it's better it's not gonna be in your bedroom you incentivize the lazy ones by having your fake media fuckwits report on the people who have chosen to grow their investment portfolio that you've provided them by showing the positive things that have happened, by showing the, the people who have uh, turned it around and become upstanding citizens, basically more of your slaves who are doing what the fuck you want them to do. Any of this shit sinking in with you fuckers? I hope so. Now, I'm just going to let that sink in for a moment. Also... Not I've given that a, a brief moment to sink in. <clears throat> I'm thinking about what should I say next? Because essentially I'm just marketing a quintillion dollar idea to you. To be quite honest, this idea is worth more than your existence. This is last time. I'm going to do something to help you. After this, there's nothing. After this, there's me laughing while I watch you burn your own world down around you. On the other hand, on the complete polar opposite end of the spectrum. I know you fuckwits love extremism. Here's the other extreme. You do this. You start getting a lot of people to turn their heads and say, hey, the government's doing something good to help us. Later on, me and my buddy throw you another bone 
put you on uh, on that U-turn because right now you're going down the tubes you're going down the drain you're spiraling, you're circling the drain I mean your deficit's doing this bit right here but uh, it's only because you're on the opposite end going down it's a matter of perspective isn't it now be honest with me if any of you fuckers ever thought of this I don't think so because I haven't seen or heard a single peep a fart in the wind a butterfly's fart in a tornado I haven't heard, smelt, seen, or read anything close to this. Not a single fucking hint. You fuckers only care about your power, your money, your control over everyone around you, and how to acquire more of it. Well, it all comes down to, okay, Here's this quintillion dollar idea that'll give you that. Run with it if you fucking want. I don't care.